Millbrook is the controlled urban testbed component of CAM Testbed UK and we're doing that in partnership with RACE at the Atomic Energy Authority at Cullum. What we do here is we test all types of vehicles, defence, commercial, right the way through to passenger cars, motorcycles. We've got a 700 acre site. One of the key things that differentiates us is the fact that we have a lot of hills. There's about a 33 storey equivalent in elevation difference on this site. We've developed our own simulator integrating a terrain database for all of our tracks at a very high accuracy. The advantage of being able to do that here is they can then step out and instantly validate on the track over the same ground. Approximately every 200 metres we have a mast with a mobile phone cellular node. So we have a private hyperdense 4G LTE network which will soon evolve into 5G. This video will emphasise the connectivity. Connectivity is with us already. There are a lot of connected vehicles out there now and it is progressing very rapidly. It's also starting to get wider than just the vehicle and so I think that's it's an important element of this video as well. We're doing a demonstration of a typical vehicle test. This demo is specifically focusing on some basic vehicle data coming from the vehicle canvas, which demonstrates the ability for engineers or customers to instantly see results so they know if the test's been a pass or a fail. So we've got the data streaming between the Millbrook vehicle and the uh, Zenzik van. So on the tablet in the van, they can see everything that's going on in this vehicle. And we've also got a live video link with audio so that we can discuss the test, uh, so that they can give us instructions on where we need to drive next. In the past, we've actually streamed four 4K cameras simultaneously from one moving vehicle to another. So the test we've conducted has been successful and we demonstrated the high-speed data transfer. What that means for the future and the development of connected and self-driving vehicles is that development cycles and test times are reduced and much more efficient. So you can run through development cycles quicker, get test results faster and ultimately get vehicles on the road in a shorter period of time and saving money. race is based just south of Oxford at the Cullum Science Centre. We're part of Cam Testbed UK and our role is as part of the urban testbed. Our unique proposition here is that we're a fence site with 10 kilometres of roads and two and a half thousand people. So we've got lots of junctions, lots of roundabouts, zebra crossings, traffic lights. In this experiment we fit an iPad to a vehicle to provide the basic connectivity of the vehicle. An example of the sort of use cases we can set up here at Cullum involves the question of what happens when a vehicle approaches one of our busy junctions and finds the sight lines are obscured. Before we do this, we have the ability to set up an analogue of this on our nursery test pad. This means that we can test the vehicle's ability to safely manoeuvre around junctions before we commit to the vehicle on our roads. In the primary experiment, we're taking the van around a real corner and real traffic conditions on our site. In these circumstances, the vehicle and the infrastructure will communicate with each other, and the infrastructure, the cameras and the DSLC network will inform the vehicle when it's safe to manoeuvre around the junction. From the perspective of the passengers in the vehicle, what they experience is a smooth progression through the junction without pausing with maximum safety. Connectivity is a really important aspect of uh, mobility. It's going to become very important. So here we're doing a test with just two vehicles, but imagine what it's going to be like when you've got hundreds and they're all collecting information about road condition, air temperature, whatever it is, and they're feeding that back and sharing it with other vehicles.